Oh, who's swimming in the middle of the reception? Oh my gosh, is that Gabriel? Stop it! So they're gonna kiss Gabriel. Um, you're just right there looking at them. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey rainbows, and welcome back to another episode of The Royal Family. In today's episode, we are going to be having Kimmy Emma Kana's wedding, and I am so excited for this. I've been looking forward to this for so long. We're going to go through some story stuff too, part of Alice May's story. There's some story posts that I'm going to go over before we start the wedding. And then after the wedding, we are going to be seeing Diana and Abraham because Diana is going to be having her baby. So if you're excited for this episode, make sure you hit that like button. So the wedding is at the Mermaid Palace in Sulani. Bellatrix and Samaria's wedding was at the main palace, so I thought this was very fitting. Also because they are going to be doing the whole mermaid ceremony where Kimmy eats the mermatic kelp. Guests are arriving now. I believe most of them are here currently, but I'll go over everything later. So before we begin, I am going to go over the story posts. I have posted them on a Tumblr, which is linked below, so hopefully this isn't too confusing, but I'm gonna go over the posts and then there's gonna be, it's gonna be numbered, and under each number, it's going to have the link to the Instagram one and the link to the Tumblr one, which are both the same thing. You can just pick and choose what you prefer to read it off of. A big thank you to Zoe who made me a bunch of tutorials because I have no idea how to use Tumblr or I had no idea how to use Tumblr before she sent them to me. So she was extremely helpful and I was able to post them on Tumblr for you guys. There's still a lot of old story posts that I have not posted on there. So give me some time to post all those. For now, it's just the ones that I'm mentioning in the video, but I should have those uploaded eventually. Eventually, I might be missing some old story posts, but I'm gonna find as many as I can and post them on there. I'm going to just go over the post very briefly. So it's gonna be kind of like the last episode, just a quick summary of each of them. The first two story posts are in two parts. It was Caspian and Alice May's kind of a date. They went to the carnival together to hang out. They weren't like, hey, do you wanna go out on a date with me? They were like, hey, do you want to go to the, or Alice May asked it, but she was like, do you wanna go to the carnival with me? And Caspian said yes. So technically it was a date. Caspian got a motorcycle, so I showed that. However, Alice May is not allowed to ride on the motorcycle with him for several months. I know it seems like surprising that Jabari would be okay with this, but it took a lot of convincing from Amira. Also, I do imagine Jabari had a motorcycle when he was younger too, so he just wants to make sure that Caspian has had enough experience like with the motorcycle and there would be security when they go too. But yeah, anyway, we'll talk about that later. But they went on their date, a couple pictures of them enjoying the carnival. The second part of that post, so post number two, is them leaving the carnival and Alice May asking Caspian to go to the debutante ball with her. Caspian said yes. Alice May had to go, but then she kissed him on the cheek before she left. And then post number three was Alice May waking up the next morning to see that the tabloids, someone had caught a picture of Alice May and Caspian together and it was all over the internet. People were, I will say that it's, I don't know, their world version of Twitter, but they were tweeting horrible things about Alice May and Caspian and they were saying like, Caspian looks like a greaser and just all these things and that Alice May was stooping really low to be dating him and that they hope that they don't end up together. So those were really getting to Alice May and then Benji swooped in and tried to make her feel better. But of course it was still bothering Alice May. And then post number four was Amira, Jabari and Nia. So Nia is Caspian's mom, but they had asked to talk to Alice May and Caspian and Amira and Jabari and Nia are kind of just assuming that Alice May and Caspian are dating. I don't know if everyone is familiar with the term talking, but it is more the modern version of like courting, I guess, and dating. <laughs> so they're texting, they flirt, they haven't actually admitted their feelings to each other. But anyway, the parents assumed that they were dating and they said that they're concerned because they could tell that all of this was really bugging Alice May. She stayed in her room all day when she saw the tabloid. They were worried about just her mental health, worried about it getting to her, like the things that people were saying about her and Caspian. And then Caspian, they mentioned that Caspian got assaulted by some people on the street just by yelling horrible things at him because of the tabloids. So it was all this stuff. They're just concerned for the kids and they want to make sure they can handle it. So they asked if they could keep their so-called relationship, I guess. They assume they're in a relationship, but they said that if they want to still see each other, that they have to keep it secret and only tell people that they really, really trust that won't tell anybody. And Alice May and Caspian just were kind of like, uh, kind of awkward because they were like, oh, we haven't actually admitted our feelings for each other, but they didn't say anything. But it was kind of like an agreement that they are 
somewhat together and that they have to keep it a secret. But they both said they want to do that. And then Alice May was like, so does this mean we can't go to the dance together? But Amira said they can still go to the dance together and just pretend Caspian is going with the group of friends, like they're all friends, that the, that he's not actually her date. And that if they're going to dance at the debutante ball together, then they have to dance with other people too. And they could probably only dance together like once or twice and like pretend they're friends still. So that was that post. And then post number five, there was a content warning on this. Uh, for manipulation, gaslighting, and profanity. So I'm just going to, again, briefly summarize this, but basically Kaleo told Alice May he likes her and asked her to the dance. Oh, and all the friends were over at the Mermaid Palace for the weekend, but he admitted his feelings to Alice May, asked her to the debutante ball. She said that she'd rather just have them all go as friends and that she only likes Kaleo as a brother and she just doesn't see him that way. Alice May felt really bad. Kaleo got really upset. He was really hurt. He lashed out at Alice May. He kicked her out of the palace like he didn't want to see her anymore, so he kicked her out and wanted her to go home. Post number six also has a trigger warning for emotional distress because Alice May was really upset. She called Caspian. She didn't know where else to go. She didn't want to tell her parents because she was worried that they would ask questions. She didn't want to tell her aunt Bellatrix what was going on because Samaria is Kaleo's sister and they're really close, so she didn't want Bellatrix to have to take sides. So Caspian invited her to his dad's. Post number seven also trigger warning for emotional distress and self blame. Basically, Caspian was comforting Alice May. Alice May told Caspian what happened. Caspian tried to make her feel better, told her to rest, said that she was probably just drained after everything that happened. So Alice May went to go take a nap. Post number eight was basically Caspian just telling his dad, Maleko, about what happened with Alice May and her friends and that Cleo had kicked her out. And Caspian was just really upset because like now he's like, he's never really had a reason to hate Cleo before because he doesn't know much about Cleo at all. He only knew that Cleo and Alice May were friends, but now he knows what happened. Now he knows what Cleo did. Now he knows how how much pain that Kaleo had caused Alice May. So now Caspian doesn't like Kaleo. So he was getting pretty heated, venting to his dad about it. And then his dad was just like, hey, like you have to be careful. Like Kaleo is a prince. If he gets upset with you, he could use his power against you. So just be careful. All you can do right now is be there for Alice May. Have her tell someone who can help her. Then number nine was a sweet little moment with Alice May and Caspian. They were hanging out and Caspian just asked her to tell someone who's trying to comfort her, make her feel better because she was still blaming herself about what happened. Post number 10 was the friends Kaleo, Frederick, William, Jessica, Nani, and Molly Grace. Mostly just a conversation with Frederick, William, and Kaleo though because the girls went to bed. Kaleo told them what happened except he lied and said that he didn't kick her out because he had lied to everyone and told them that Alice May didn't feel good, that she was sick so that she went home. The girls texted her and said that they hope that she feels better. She just said thank you because she didn't want them to know what happened and like cause drama with the friend group. So Kaleo told told William and Frederick that she had, that Alice May had wanted to leave because she felt awkward. So he didn't tell them the truth either, but he was venting to them. William talked a bit about what happened. We got to see what happened a little bit with Ember and we got a little insight on that because we saw what happened with them in the last episode. And then Frederick just told Kaleo to try to make things up with Alice May so that the debutante ball wouldn't be so awkward. Cause you know, they want to try to keep their friend group together and they want to keep the drama to a minimum. And then post number 11 was just pictures. It was just pictures of the rest of Alice May and Caspian's weekend. And then post number 12 was the Solani royal family. We saw a bit of drama with that. Started out with Kaleo and Makana arguing. Samaria came in and was just like, you guys need to stop. Kaleo, he couldn't find the undershirt that he was supposed to wear to the wedding. So Samaria just told him like, go ask dad if you can borrow one of his. And then Kaleo overheard a conversation that his dad was having on the phone. And he's like almost positive that his dad is having an affair. So. Dean might be having an affair. We don't know who this person is that he's having an affair with. Kaleo's not even 100% sure if he's having an affair, so he hasn't said anything because he doesn't know. So those were all of the story posts and we will talk about it a little bit more later. Of course, it'll come up with a story. Again, those links are in the description below. But for now, the guests are, I think they're mostly here. So we should be good to start. It is sunset at the moment, which is perfect. You guys get to see Kimmy, our bride here. Year, but you guys will see her in the ceremony in just a second. So yeah, why don't we go ahead and begin and I'll go over things during the ceremony and reception. So let's go ahead and start Kimmy and Makana's wedding ceremony. 
Okay, so I thought this was such a pretty place to have their wedding. I tried to incorporate as many Hawaiian wedding traditions as I could. And traditionally, Hawaiian weddings are pretty simple, but royalty definitely had more elaborate ceremonies. Of course, one of the biggest traditions in Hawaii is the lei. It is worn for most celebrated events, including weddings. And it's usually the bride, the groom, and the wedding party that will often wear the lei, sometimes just the bride and groom, but I have the wedding party also wearing the lei. I'll explain their different colors in a second too for the wedding party. And then I also have the, I have Nea, so mother of the bride, and then Leilana and Dean also wearing leis as well. And leis represent different things. They can represent life and love and unity. And then some of the brides wear the floral headband. And then one thing I wanted to incorporate because a lot of the traditions I couldn't actually really do in The Sims, but one thing is, so my boyfriend Jake, his mom and her family, they are from Hawaii. And for his parents' wedding, they had the bridal party wearing different colors and each color represents the different island in Hawaii. So I thought it was perfect for our bridal party because they have three groomsmen and three bridesmaids and there's like three separate islands in Suwanee. And then the bridesmaid and the groomsmen, so they're paired. So one bridesmaid and one groomsman wear one of the colors representing one island and then the same thing for the other ones. And the Sulani Royal colors are orange and yellow. However, they do wear a lot of different colors. The orange is a little bit more like coral, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> we have a lot of coral going on here since it's like the mermaid palace and everything. And of course they're mermaids. And then I picked green because I just figured like, you know, the greenery, the life on the island. And they'll be going on their honeymoon to Granite Falls. I just felt like it was very fitting for them and very relaxing. I just feel like that would be what they enjoy the most, is just having time to relax. They both love the outdoors too, so I think it would be a lot of fun for them. It'd be nice and peaceful and quiet. So they're going to go to Granite Falls for their honeymoon. They'll probably be trying for a baby fairly soon, so we'll see some Kim Kana babies fairly soon. And yay, they're married! <laughs> They're such an attractive couple, I love them. All right, so now is the part that a lot of people have been waiting for. Kimmy is going to eat the mermatic kelp. So I, they've moved this table here after the ceremony and she's going to eat this. Eat this. Okay, I've brought Kimmy and Makana here. So the guests were watching from the balcony, by the way, but it's sunset. They're going to go into the water together. I think they can just jump from here. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh well, I thought they would just walk in from there. All right, that's fine. Oh, they're gonna jump from here. Okay, so now Kimmy and Makata are going into the water. Let's, oh, they changed into their swimsuits. There we go. Oh gosh. Okay, let's see. Mermaid, oh, they're, oh, hold on. They're like merging. Okay. There they are, there they go. All right, Kimmy is now a mermaid, you guys. And her tail is like yellow and green, like Oasis Springs color. I always thought it was cute because Makana's tail was already yellow and green. So I kind of feel like it was like Kimmy and Makana were meant for each other. Hers is a bit different. Hers is a bit more like uh, fancy or I don't know. I li it's like fancier and I really like it. It's a new custom content tail, so that's why. But yay, oh my gosh, I love them. I might change the top, but I will definitely post a picture of them. I'm so excited. I love them so much. All right, so the reception has started. I did everything I could to make sure people didn't start swimming. I locked the gate door, but people are leaving anyway, apparently. Oh my gosh. Like literally everybody went to go swimming. Um, I don't I don't know if it's possible to get them to not do this. This is insane. I even called people to the meal. So like a bunch of people are going to go eat now. But like, a bunch of people are gonna be in their swimsuits too. I tried my best. I mean, that might be fun. I don't, well, I don't know. I mean, Kimmy and Makana gotta go swimming. So I guess the guests were just like, okay, we'll go too. Man, I did everything. Oh gosh, Tom, oh no, who, oh, uh, Prince James, he's naked. Johan's brother, Um, he doesn't have clothes on. So let me try to change that. The, okay, there, oh, there's a bald baby. Okay, there are, <laughs> that's Makai's daughter, Iolana. She should be aging up into a child soon. Um, Zayori actually will be aging up pretty soon too. However, I think I'm gonna wait till like right after the debutante ball. Okay, there are a lot of people here. I think there's like 70. I did not not plan to invite this many people, but it just happened. People were asking in the last episode how I invited so many people. Um, there is a invite as many guests as you want mod or invite any guests 
or invite any guest mod and then like unlimited guest mod, which is the same mod pretty much. So I'm gonna link that in the description below. Also people wondering how I control the multiple Sims. There is a control, a sim, a control, a sim mod? Control any sim mod, that's it. I'm also linking that in the description below so you guys can download that if you want to. It's a lifesaver. Oh, uh, Juliet's in her wedding dress. Oops, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Please ignore all these outfits. So many bathing suits. I did everything I could. I thought I locked the gate, but apparently not. Oh, well now people can't get back in if I, okay, I have to unlock that. Kimmy and McConnor are still swimming around. Oh, they can come in through there. Oh, that's not gonna stop people then. I, I don't even, I don't even have ladders there. Like I figured people would just jump and climb up the thing, but like, oh my good, okay. I don't even have a Autonomy turned on. So let's turn that on then. And I feel like this is gonna get even crazier once I do that. Also, because there are so many people here, it's taking a long time for all the outfits to load. I'm so sorry. I tried my best. Anyway, let's continue. Okay, we got Bellatrix. We got the children. They're just sitting. <laughs> They're just sitting with their food. The Arya's in her swimmer. Oh yeah, Arya and Gabriel are starting to try for a baby, by the way. Oh, honey, you're Minta. They're just standing and talking. They're in their outfits. We got Minerva here. And then William's here too. So in the story post, you guys saw Minerva does know about Ember and William. I feel like Ember, so I mentioned Ember doesn't like Minerva. I feel like it's just something like she's never liked her. They've known each other since they were little. They are both cousins to the, uh, not Oasis Springs, to the Willow Creek Royal family. So they're like Cornelius, Genevieve, Julia, and Elena's cousins, but like on different sides. Ember through Corinne's side and then Minerva through Louis side. I feel like Ember's just always been jealous of Minerva growing up. And then I feel like Ember always thought William was cute too. And then when she found out Minerva was dating William, she got even more jealous. So then when she found out they broke up, she took that opportunity to swoop in. And I feel like she did everything she could to make sure Minerva knew that William and her, William and Ember had hooked up. I feel like Minerva is more upset about the fact that it's Ember because William knew when they were dating that she doesn't like Ember and that Ember doesn't like her. Like, yes, yeah, she was still hurt that it was so soon after they broke up, but like, Minerva broke up with William. It's a, oh, who's swimming in the middle of the reception? Oh my gosh, is that Gabriel? Stop it. Um, Gabriel, you're, okay. There, there we go. All right, anyway. But people were comparing the situation with Charles and Araminta. And I have to say, it is not the same because Charles and Araminta, they had broken up, but then, or they were, yeah, they had broken up. And then Charles and Araminta, I don't know if everyone remembers this, but they were talking about getting back together and talking about running away together. Araminta wanted to run away with Charles and then Charles and Kimmy hooked up. But yeah, Minerva is more irritated at the fact that it was Ember, but Minerva did get into Foxbury. So she's gonna be going and majoring in physics. So she's going like after the debutante ball, she'll be going and leaving for Foxbury. Also the debutante ball, okay, so it's not the next episode, it's the one after that. In the next episode, Sissy's gonna age up into a teen. So she's going to the debutante ball and then we're gonna go over all the nobles and everyone that's gonna be there. So I think in the last episode I had said it would be the next episode, episode 70, but it is not. It's gonna to be episode 71 and it is going to kind of be in two parts but I'll explain that later. Oh my gosh Elon is also swimming in the middle of the wedding reception. <laughs> this is too much. I was not prepared for all of this. Um, maybe people should start dancing. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh also another tradition so the bride would typically do a hula dance like for the groom like in front of the groom. So I feel like Kimmy also did that like she's been working with Samaria. I feel like Samaria has been teaching her how to hula dance so she could do it for the wedding. But yeah, there's a ton of people here. Uh, of course, we have our newlywed couples, Elon, Natalia, and then Elena and Takashi, Julia and Manuel. Oh, and there's something I wanna go over. Okay, so yeah, this is why it would take forever for us to do the outfits because it's been taking forever to load. And I think it's just because there's so many people here at the venue right now. So sorry about that. Let me just, um, I'll, I'll wait while I talk through things. Um, but so some people had mentioned that they really like that Elena doesn't wanna have kids because it is perfectly normal. And there are plenty of people out there who don't wanna have kids. Um, someone did mention that like, it's nice to see someone who doesn't wanna have kids who is not Arrow or Ace. So I just wanna clarify something. Um, so in my Facts and Secrets video, uh, and if you don't know, if you missed it, I can link it below. But Arrow is short for aromantic and Ace is short for asexual. So if you're aromantic, then you don't experience any romantic feelings. And if you are asexual, you don't experience any sexual feelings. 
Hey guys, it's me. So I realized after filming the video that I do need to make a correction to these definitions. I should have said attraction instead of feelings for both of them. However, feelings can apply to some people as well. But aromantic is a person who experiences little to no romantic attraction towards other people. And asexual is a person who experiences little to no sexual attraction towards other people. However, there is a spectrum for both of these and there's a lot more to it than what I am explaining in the video. So I'm going to link some resources below if you are interested in reading more about them. So those are in the video description below. Okay, that's all, back to the video. So, oh my gosh, this is, okay, that's taking forever to load. So whoever that was for, they're just gonna have to stay in their swimsuit. But I had mentioned in the video that Aisha is Arrow and Anya is Arrow and Ace. But I, so I kind of just like, like I, I just get to know my characters kind of a little bit, some of them a little bit more over time. And I realized that I actually don't think Anya would use labels. So I don't think she identifies herself as Arrow or Ace, but I do want to add that Genevieve is Ace. So that is not something I mentioned in the video, but I wanted to add that. Okay, so that aside, I do want to clarify that just because someone is Arrow and Ace does not mean that they don't want kids. Also, people who are Arrow can still be in a relationship, just a more platonic relationship. So for, oh, whoops. I mean, I have a friend who is Arrow and Ace and she's engaged and wants kids. And I'll have more representation in the future of different characters and like different situations, but Aisha doesn't want to be in a relationship and she doesn't want kids just because that's just who Aisha is. It's not because she's aromantic. So yeah, I just want to clarify that. But yeah, I don't think Elena and Takshi are going to have kids, but I just wanted to go over those comments. So people are talking, people are eating. We had a lot of food. Oh, I have a memorial table for Philip here with sunflowers too, because that was his favorite flower. So we have a memorial table for Philip. Oh, Dean? Is this Dean? He's crying in the bathroom? Oh, oh, it says he's sad, but there's no mood lit for him being sad. That's really weird. So yeah, we'll, um, so that whole situation will come up a little bit later. We'll see more of it. We're not gonna talk about it too much here. However, I don't think Kaleo's in a great mood right now. I think he's very upset and he's trying to hide it. Oh my gosh, Makana! <laughs> Makana is walking in his mermaid tail. Oh my gosh, the glitch is here. This is weird. Anyway, can we go here and then let's have them slow dance together? Okay, there we go. They're, they're about to slow dance together. There we go. Oh, whoa, okay, there we go. Her um, little sleeve things are clipping a lot, but that's okay. Okay, so they're slow dancing. They're enjoying their night. They're actually away from everyone else. Like there's not really anyone else dancing right now. They're all in here partying. They're sissy. So sissy's aging up in the next episode and I'm so excited for her to be a teenager. We have Makai. We don't get to see Makai that much, do we? So yeah, we have Makai. He's just chilling in his bathing suit. That's fine. We got a bunch of people, Lady Ariana, Belle, Molly Grace is in her bathing suit. Amira is in her ball gown. Corinne's in her ball gown. We have Nani. So uh, I don't, did I mention this in the last episode? Nani and Malia are going to the debutante ball together. So Nani asked Malia to go with her. Oh, and then also here, I don't know if I showed you guys, but we got a picture of Kimmy and Makana here in front of the cake and the food that was eaten already. But yeah, we got their their picture here. Oh no, no, Corinne, don't put dirty dishes on there. Are you serious? Um. Oh, wait for drink from Dean. Dean and Leila are talking. Their relationship is actually really low. And I don't think the kids know this, but I think that their relationship hasn't been doing so great over the years. So it, it was already like this anyway. I didn't actually change anything for their relationship, but their relationship has been pretty low. And it makes me really sad because they were really cute and I love them a lot. And I remember when they got together, but yeah, that's definitely not something Kaleo wanted to overhear. And he's still not sure, so he doesn't want to say anything. Um, Kaleo definitely is a lot closer with his mom. He's a lot closer with Leilana and close with Samaria. And then in the story post, you guys saw him and Makana haven't been getting along at all. He's been getting on Makana Makana's nerves like crazy, but Makana also lives with him and him and Kimmy, Makana and Kimmy, they're gonna be living at the palace with Leilana and Dean and Grandma Lokalani and Kaleo until Kaleo moves out anyway. So Samaria doesn't live with him. She doesn't really know what's going on, but Kaleo and Samaria have been closer anyway. Like they've always been closer, but Samaria's busy. She has her kid. She has Nohea who should be here too. Also, I don't think I've shown this before. Four. So this is Lady Tally. She is Nani's younger sister. And then not, and then, uh, so she is the second oldest out of Kona and Aurora's kids. And then they have, she has twin younger brothers too, which is Nikau and Kioni, who should be here somewhere. I do want to point out because this is, this goes for all of them. So for the Sims, their ages are not always true to like the order they were 
born because I've like shown in episodes kind of when they're born and stuff. So Nani's siblings have been kids for a while and there's a reason for that in the story. I don't always stay true to the ages, mostly for just like the nobles and stuff, um, but I do for the main royal families. But you know, it's my game and my story. So there's some characters that I want to be specific ages for this story. So I think some people have been like pointing out because like Gabriel was born later than a lot of the Sims, but I changed his age. So don't always like, you know, take into consideration like the order all of them were born and stuff. I'm aging up Sissy a little bit early too for reasons and there's a bunch of other characters that I'll either age up early or age up late. Oh, and then this is one of the twins too. So this one is Nikau. So that should actually be Lord Nikau. That's Lord Nikau and then, oh, Sissy and, okay. I think Sissy and Alice May are pretty close. And Sissy's always been close with Cedric too, but I think she's a couple years younger than Alice May and a couple years older than Cedric. So Cedric won't be aging up still for a while. Um, however, Zayori will be aging up probably like right after the debutante ball. Also, I think Cedric and uh, Tal Ali and Nikau and Keone, I think he's kind of started to hang out with them a little bit more because I think Sissy would kind of hang out with them a little bit, although she's a lot older than them, but she would kind of hang out with them a little bit and introduce Cedric to them. So I think Cedric has been getting along pretty well with Lady Tally and with Nikau and Keone too. Um, I don't know where Keone is, but yeah, that was Lord Nikau, but they're twins, so... Uh, oh, and then Kimmy and McConnor are still just slow dancing here. They're so cute. Um, and then, yeah, so this is Kona. This is Makai's younger brother. So Kona is Nani, Tally, Nikau, and Keone's father. And then his wife is one of Princess Anna's daughters, Aurora. So she's the middle child. It was Ezra, Aurora, sorry, Ezra, Aurora, and Sadira, which of course is Queen Sadira of Brindleton Bay now, but she is all of their mother. She's married to Kona. I don't know where she is. I definitely saw her here. Again, there's a wiki page. So if you're confused about any of the characters and who they are related to, you can check the wiki page. In their profiles, it says like aunts, uncles, cousins of each of the characters. So you guys can check it out on there. Oh yeah, but okay. Oh wait, hold on. So, th okay, there's Keone. So, oh yeah, they're already sitting together. So Cedric, Tally, and Keone, and Nikau, who's friends with them too. And of course their sibling, but um, he's just sitting over there at the bride and group table. Uh, and then <laughs> we have Prince slash Duke James. He's getting along with the kids. Uh, I think some people forgot too, because they were wondering if James and Ian, if they would ever have kids. But um, if you recall when they got married, I had mentioned uh, Lord Ian, he, or yeah, Lord Ian, um, he, or I guess Duke Consort Ian, he has the hates kids trait. And I didn't realize that until they got married. So they just have a lot of pets. But I think James always kind of got along with kids. Like he's okay not having his own kids and he's a great uncle, but um, it looks like he's getting along with the kids right now, which I think is really cute. And then we have Genevieve. Oh, let me change Genevieve. We've got Genevieve, of course, her and John. They've been coming back a lot for all these weddings. This is actually the last wedding of wedding season. And technically Genevieve and John don't, like they don't fall under the wedding season category because they're going to wait a bit. They're going to travel some more and they're going to, I think they've talked about getting married, but again, I think they're going to wait. Um, so we'll see that all later, but they don't technically fall into wedding season. But yeah, this is actually the last wedding of wedding season. And we're gonna be having more babies and stuff, but like, oh my goodness, that's so weird to think about. Um, but I'm gonna have, they're, they're still slow dancing, that's so cute. Like literally no one else came out here. Also I hired a DJ, but they never came. Um, but I hired a DJ um, and they're the only ones dancing. They always have their alone time. And I think that's just the sweetest thing. They're both loners. They both don't enjoy parties all that much, but they always get a chance to get away. And now they're slow dancing on the balcony of the palace together. And it's so cute. Like, look at them, that's so sweet. Oh, oh, there's Lord Nohea. He is here. Oh, Fallon. And, oh, Cambridge and Felix, I think we're too young to go. But um, we have Araminta and Fallon. They're reading to Rin and Lord Nohea. That's super, super cute. Okay, so Kaleo and Alice May are actually talking outside. Kaleo's sad. Let's say it's because of what happened with Dean and what he overheard. Him and Alice May haven't like, okay, so Frederick told him to try to smooth things over with Alice May. They haven't actually talked since that whole thing happened. And this is a week later. I can totally see him like wanting to tell Alice May what happened and venting to her. So like, let's have him complain about problems. There you go. So maybe he's telling Alice May what he overheard because him and Alice May were like really 
close friend. I, of course, the, the, you know, he did the whole thing this weekend and he should not have lashed out at her like that. Um, but I can see him being so upset and wanting to tell someone, wanting to tell Alice May. And because it's Alice, oh, she's bored. <laughs> um, because it's Alice May, I can definitely see her like feeling really bad for Kaleo, wanting to be there for him. Oh, now she's feeling playful, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like she would comfort him. Let's have a deep conversation. Even after what happened, like that's just, I'll do a story post on this too, but that's just who Alice May is. And Kaleo is like only telling her he wants someone to be there. And for him, that's Alice May. I mean, he was already outside with Alice May. So, oh, there's people watching. What the heck? I will just pretend that they were all out talking. Everyone is outside. My goodness. Like more people are out there than anything else. But for now, I think that's everything. I am pretty bummed that everyone started swimming and changed out of the outfits that I had picked up for all of them. But it's okay. It's The Sims it's bound to happen like it's not a sims wedding or anything if if something horrible doesn't happen so that's okay so they're gonna kiss gabriel um you're just right there looking at them what are you doing <laughs> oh my gosh this picture is so funny to me i don't know why <laughs> why gabriel's looking at them so intensely like that he's like um i have a question about something can you guys like you know get off each other for a second. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, he's cheering them on. Okay, that's fine. He's cheering them on. He's laughing about it. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end this wedding here and then we're gonna go see Diana and Abraham because Diana is having a baby. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so crazy. Oh, oh, Minerva is talking with Kaleo and with Alice May now. And Frederick came out to join too. Maybe he's excited because he's like, oh, did they finally smooth things over? Are we not gonna have any drama in our friend group? Thank goodness. And I think that's what Alice May is like so scared to tell, like why she She's scared to tell her friends about too is because she doesn't want to cause drama with her friend group even though like you know it's something she should tell people but that's what Alice May's mindset is but now it's like she was planning on telling at least Molly Grace but now that she feels bad for Kaleo I can see her being hesitant to tell anyone again so we'll see more of that I, I know it's a little frustrating and we want Alice May to tell someone because we don't want Kaleo to treat people like that and he needs to know better it's a whole story so yeah we'll see more of it later but okay let's go ahead to Windenburg all right so we're at Diana and Abraham's and Diana's already in labor oh her, yeah okay her water broke wait I didn't know that was does that happen in the sims I, why have I never noticed that before <laughs> I didn't realize their water could break oh my gosh Megan Amira and Jabari they're all jogging by this is so fun oh wait is Jabari and Amira just on a Oh, are they just all jogging together is Jabari jogging in a oh no they're going somewhere they're taking the ferry somewhere Diana's literally in labor right there. They went by her. Where are they going? Maybe they're getting like the hospital ready, like her royal suite ready in the hospital. I don't know. Um, okay, but she's in labor. Evangeline is here because, I, I mean, you guys saw in the, was it, no, a couple episodes ago when Fallon was having the baby, when Charles and Fallon was having their baby, she like goes to each of her kid's house every time they're having their baby. She's getting so many grandchildren right now, but every time one of them is having a baby, she goes to stay with them to help like take care of them and stuff. So she's like, I mean, they have like nannies and stuff too, but they're, she's just going back and forth. So, um, okay, Diana's in labor. So let's go ahead and go to the hospital. Have baby at hospital, send alone. Okay, so her and Abraham are going to the hospital. Uh, Abraham, are you gonna go with Diana to the hospital? Yeah, okay. Oh, she's in pain. Oh, poor thing. I can't believe she's having a baby, you guys. Remember when she was a baby and a little toddler and she was following Amira around? Oh my gosh. And now she's having her own baby. That's, <sighs> oh my gosh. What, this, I'm like actually getting, I don't know what this feeling is that I'm having. It's weird, but um, I love her and I can't believe this is happening okay so diana and abraham had a baby boy um i i'm oh right name okay um so we're, we're gonna name him vincent and i think it's cute because it's kind of like vincent van gogh and you know they, they're both very artsy abraham uh he's an artist uh, he's a royal portrait painter and oh i'm not spelling things right and diana loves art too and diana loves music so 
We're going to, do, well, not that Vincent has anything to do with music, but Vincent Van Gogh for the artist. So Lord Vincent, and I will show you guys the baby in the next episode, um, either a picture or we will go see him. And the child is floating. That's fine. They're always floating, aren't they? Let's go ahead and get a bassinet. I don't know, sometimes they float and sometimes they don't. It like depends on the day. All right, I got the baby at crib, so no more floating baby Vincent. Um, Evangeline, let's see, Rock, and then of course Abraham and Diana are parents! They're parents! Okay, Evangeline's going to see her grandchild! Oh, I mean, she's got like so many at the moment. Another grandchild. I feel like they'll probably have another kid. I want to space out the children a little bit, otherwise there's just going to be too many to try to pay attention to at once. I can't do all that, so we're going to try to space them out a bit. So like, same thing with Bellatrix and Samaria. I think they're going to wait. So, we'll see more babies soon. I'm excited for them. Dustin and Adric will be having their baby in the next episode. More couples will be having babies soon. Um, again, Arya and Gabriel are trying now, and Kimmy and Makana, they are going to be trying soon too, I'm sure. Same thing with Julia and Manuel, probably too. Also a bunch of other couples. So yeah, okay, we'll see the baby in the next episode. I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So let me know your thoughts on everything on Kim Kana's wedding. Kimmy is now a mermaid. She is the future princess, no, she's the future queen of Sulani, right? Okay, and we had a bunch of stuff happen. Let me know your thoughts on the story posts. Let me know your thoughts with the whole Cleo and Alice May situation, and I will be posting that story post fairly soon of so like more details of that conversation that they had. Oh, I forgot to mention too, Corn and Alice, I don't think they're quite ready yet to have kids, but they will be, I, I think, fairly soon. Just give them time. Give them time to be around some of the children, and then maybe they'll warm up to them and want to have kids soon. Please remember to be kind and respectful in the comments and if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next video bye